instead of religion, what I like to think I found is spirituality. And what it yeah. is, it's basically like a rebellion of all the bullshit that was taught to me. It's hard to mix religion with anything. It is. So it, it, it really is. Um, the way you're doing it with this, with like, with your obviously being a guru style human where you do what you do and you mix it together. It's fun. And now you're doing festivals where you're, you know, you're making cakes and spanking people on stage where you bless we, them with the fucking sacrament. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And I love it. We had, we had moon water at We Not So Fest for the first time, which was fantastic as well. <laughs> Tell them what know. that is. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I put it under the full moon. I put a bunch of water out there and then I do my wiki wiki, which is, you know, the magic that I do. <laughs> and, uh, and then whatever intention I set for that particular uh, batch of water, whether it is love, passion, sexual energy, financial uh, uh, stability, financial gain um direction health whatever different things uh may be i mm. put that intention i put crystals in there to help that energy and charge it with the moon and then i jar it up and then you know people get it and get blessed with it you know damn uh, i love this so much it's Isn't it's uh, instead of religion what i like to think i found is spirituality and what it yeah. is it's basically like a, a rebellion of all the bullshit that was taught to me what happens when when that religion is shoved down your throat, you learn a horrible, horrible perspective of what life should be. Part of it was the whole wives be submissive to your husbands. The man is always in charge. In my home, you know, my sisters were expected to give me food. Like as I sat my lazy ass, to, I, my sister had a job. I smoked weed all day, but yet she was expected to serve me because I was the male. That's Up wild. until my early 20s, I was arguing with people that washing dishes was a woman's job. Now, a lot of this is cultural and religious and that i think is where we need to start uh addressing that there's an issue you know there's these people you know the toxic masculinity that everybody screams about and rightly so has been taught to people you're not just born thinking this is a man's job this is a woman's job mm -hmm. no they put you in a freaking box and said this is blue this is pink you do this you do that you anything that it that that strays from that is wrong and we need to start addressing that shit at the root and I, start unfucking it i couldn't agree more i mean i don't want to get too crazy about the dishes thing but the other stuff i agree with a lot and <laughs> the <laughs> i'm about <laughs> I'm just not a big dishes guy. So I love that. I, I really try to hang on to that role association if I can. But dude, I, I love this so much. And I, I don't know, I guess probably because of my age, you know, I'm I'm getting ready to turn 50 here soon. Okay. And I'm just kind of, and I, I kind of lived such a conservative lifestyle before, you know, I was Catholic light Easter and, you know, I would go on Easter and Christmas and all that stuff. And I just... I don't know. I think it's just because of all that. I'm just hitting a point in my life now because I've been in comedy like 11 years now. I'm such a different person. I'm exposed to so many different things than I had been before. I am chasing so hard. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like right now, if I could just find some little fucking, I don't know if you want to call it hip, hippie commune or some yes. little place to go I, and spend the rest of my 20, 25, 30 years, whatever I got, I, I think I would leave tomorrow. Bro, you know, we're we're on that same wavelength. And in my head, I'm thinking to myself, you know, uh, I, I, I've i lived and chased a lot of bullshit because you, you chase things that don't really matter in your early years, things that you think are important. And you don't even think they're important. You believe that they are because that's what you were told was important. Mm -hmm. And then you get to a point in your life where, wait the fuck a minute, how much time do I really got left on this ball? And how am I going to spend that time? And at that point, when you come to that realization, every move that you make after that is extremely purposeful. Mm. You know, I don't want to just go do a bullshit show. I want to go do a show where I'm going to have a fucking blast. You know, yeah. I want to have a good time. I want to sit there and put blunt ashes on people's forehead and not be judged. <laughs> uh, if somebody wants to show up wearing fucking leather chaps and a thong uh, with their boyfriend and, and, and they're both dudes, fucking mm -hmm. have at it, bro. Nice. You know, yeah. I, I don't care care who you fuck, you know?